Hello and welcome to episode four of MIDI TV. Today we have the high energy pattern pusher. We have a new up and coming Devon artist, Jacob Dursley, who's recently gone viral on TikTok. And we have the chart topping Harbottle and Jonas trio. Now all three acts are gonna be performing live for you and then heading over to our MIDI TV Pac-Man challenge. It's an interesting one this time. Right, let's get started. Hey everybody, we are Pat and Pusher, and this is Find the Light. Sometimes I feel like I've lost control. Patton Pusher, thank you for joining us here today. So you guys have been incredibly busy in recent times. You have new music, a new album. I believe 
new booking agency, new management. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, what else was there? Um, I think you guys have a publishing deal yeah. as well. <laughs> so while everybody else has been sat in their pants over lockdown, you guys have not stopped, clearly. Uh, so tell us a bit about what's going on. Yeah, no, it sounds quite fun, actually, when you say it like that. It has been, <laughs> has been pretty mental. Yeah, we were uh, obviously lockdown one, everyone was completely shut away, but we've been able to use the last couple to really get going with it all. And uh, yeah, we recorded an album last august up in the cotswolds it was a beautiful studio oh, wow. um yeah it's just really nice having that residential thing um, yeah. and just sort of living in the studio and like just doing proper nine days of not seeing anyone any part of humanity apart from three bens i think we were talking about before the <laughs> interview <laughs> yeah so there's alex benny c and benny g in the band which we were talking that, that must be quite confusing and then another ben another ben came and helped us record so i was saying to you i can insult the whole room in one <laughs> sentence easy <laughs> easy ben so, sucks <laughs> Is this the first album? Because you guys have been on the scene for some time, but this is yeah. this is it. There's, this is the first album about to be yeah. released. Yeah. So um, yeah, we've never really felt when it's going to be the right time to do your debut album yeah. as a band and stuff. Um, so yeah, we and we were going to release it actually before, but then as you said, you know, we've had new management come on um, to kind of hopefully guide us in a <laughs> world that we know nothing about as much. Um, <laughs> and yeah, they listened, they were like, oh, it's really cool. Let's, let's work out a proper plan for this. So yeah, it's going to come out at some point, but it's, it's written and recorded, um, Brilliant. which is exciting. Um, and we are still writing and stuff as well. So yeah, loads of stuff in the pipeline. So it's all on the horizon yes. waiting to come. So you guys, um, a big turning point for you was performing at the Pilton party that was yeah. judged by Michael Evis. Tell us what that led to. Yeah, it was so cool. It's actually our booking agent um, said, like, oh, you should go do this competition and see what happens. And we had no idea what it was about. We turned up to this like old man's working club in Pilton. Like really, <laughs> honestly, it's like something out of a sitcom, like the one of the like oldest, like random pubs in Devon or in Somerset. And uh, yeah, got, um, got through to the final and then and then won and got onto the stage of Supergrass and Wolf Alice, which was as incredible. You do. As, like you, as you do, yeah. Oh, we had no idea it would lead to that and it was, it was amazing. Um, and yeah, it just led to sort of loads more fun things happening from there. Like we got in GQ magazine as we were on our way up to London. <laughs> and you've had some brilliant reviews. And I know um, our own, Devon's own Sarah Gosling has recently um, done a brilliant review for you guys as well for your new single, which is called... Come Along, yes. And is out. 12th of May, Yay. I got it right. <laughs> brilliant. So you guys have some dates to announce. Where yes. can we see you performing next? So if you're a Devon... Bumpkin. Uh, November the 13th at the Cavern is going to be hopefully a big sweaty mess down there and I can't Brilliant. wait. I cannot wait. Um, I love the Cavern. I haven't played there in ages. So yeah, so we're doing that and then we're also up in London on the 2nd of November at a place called the Paper Drifts Vintage. Brilliant. And that's going <laughs> to fit the vibe as well. For, are you guys going to be in your sort of um, trademark pastel dungarees? No, we've, we're revolving the look a little bit. Oh. So lots of things to be expected or to More be... More changes yeah. more things to come. Yeah. Feel thank like it's you. going for another cycle. Thank you so much for joining us here today, oh, no Alex. Worries. Can, can you just let us know where we can find your music and where people can be directed? So if you go to patentfisher.com, how simple is that? Uh, <laughs> there's all the links. Uh, Benny C is a bit of a tech wizard. He's got it all there. So you can go onto Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, our failed TikTok. You can get it going. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Twitter and all the others. Um, but yeah, all the normal places. Brilliant. Thank you, Alex. So Patent Pusher, November 13th at The Cavern. We will see you there. Hello, my name is Jacob Dursley and this is my song Santorini. I hope you like it. I lost my train of thought right as soon as you walked in My words got lost between all the goosebumps on my skin Oh no, what's happening? Blink once and we're talking I never thought that one day you might notice me But that feeling left the first time you kissed my cheek Blink twice, we're standing here with stories and souvenirs Oh, I wouldn't give it all for anything I'll show the world that I'm in love with wedding rings On everything Now we're dancing on rooftops in Santorini Singing our sweet songs to the ceiling I couldn't be happier than now 
holding you close to feel your breathing I can't explain the way I'm feeling I'll never be happier than now Can't shake these butterflies that roam around my chest for you Sometimes I pinch my thigh to double check that this is true How did I end up here? My love for you is always clear Oh, I wouldn't give it up for anything I'll show the world that I'm in love with wedding rings on everything Now we're dancing on rooftops in Santorini Singing our sweet songs to the ceiling I couldn't be happier than now Holding you close to feel your breathing I can't explain the way I'm feeling I'll never be happier than now I made some promises that I promise I'll never break Spending my life with you is something I will never take Advantage of my beautiful love now we're dancing on rooftops in Santorini Singing our sweet songs to the ceiling I couldn't be happier than now Holding you close to feel your breathing I can't explain the way I'm feeling I'll never be happier than now Dancing on rooftops in Santorini Singing our sweet songs to the ceiling I couldn't be happier than now Holding you close to feel your breathing I can't explain the way I'm feeling I'll never be happier than now Dancing on rooftops in Santorini Singing our sweet songs to the ceiling I'll never be happier than now Thank you Jacob Dursley, welcome to MIDI TV Hi, So you. Jacob, you started putting out some videos and some music on TikTok yeah. and your YouTube channel just a few months ago. Yeah. Now, I know that you have Facebook and Instagram too, but you very much favour TikTok. Yeah. Uh, you've been incredibly successful on TikTok over um, recent months with an impressive 120,000 plus likes on your page and 350,000 plus views on one of your songs, an original song yeah. called Young. So tell us a bit about that. Yeah, um, so I recorded, I recorded the song a couple of weeks ago um, and I put it up as a sort of, it was, a, it was an old song that I wrote like six months ago and I thought I'll just put it up and see what happens. I put it up and my family shared it and whatnot and then um, when I woke up in the morning it had like 30,000 views and I was wow. like, what? Normally I get like 100 if I'm lucky. Um, and from there, it just sort of kept snowballing until it's now on like 350,000, like you said. And it just kind of blew me away. And I like, it's been really, really been a back foot for me because it like, you know, allowed me to get here and got m more subscribers on YouTube from that. Um, so, yeah, it's really been like a, a, a push for me, like a bit of an encouragement. Get it's out. amazing. Yeah. It's... And like you said, to go from 100 to that huge jump so yeah. quickly is just phenomenal. It's amazing. So why, why choose TikTok over other platforms? I understand that TikTok predominantly has a, a younger following usually. Yeah. Um, why, would, why would you use TikTok over other platforms? Well, I think it's, it's a much easier platform for outreach because you can post something and then depending on the watch time, the likes, the comments and the shares, um, if you have lots of that, then it will just sort of exponentially grow. Um, and it's just so easy to like put something up. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to spend hours working on it. It can just be a, a little thing. Um, 
I think it's great because you know anyone can give it a shot because anyone can download the app and create something. But at the same time, because anyone can do it, there's a lot of competition, yeah. <laughs> which is the hard part. But I, yeah, I got lucky on that one. Well, clearly not a lot of competition <laughs> for you because, like you said, you're doing so well with it. Um, so music is um, a fairly new thing for you to be mm. pushing publicly. Yeah. And I understand that you do a bit of busking as well. I've seen some of your um, videos of you busking and pictures of you busking on social media. So. Um, tell us why busking is important to you. Yeah, so like you said, I'm kind of new to this. Uh, so I've been writing songs my whole life since I was like, you know, quite young. Um, they weren't any good until like recently. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I, I, I wrote songs and I, I had them, but I didn't have anyone to play to, apart right. from my parents, obviously. <laughs> you probably got a bit sick of me. But um, <laughs> yeah, so I, I had these songs, but I didn't have anyone to play to. And my friend um, goes busking quite regularly. And she said, do, do you want to come along? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Scary, Yeah, it, it was, it was. Brilliant. Um, and, and it sort of gave me a chance to play my songs to other people and sort of like see how, what people thought of them. Yeah. So, you know, it, it was good for like feedback in it and, and a confidence boost to do it as well because I didn't get any booze. <laughs> and that's, that's a positive. Yeah. Did you, um, how did you do financially or were you given anything odd in your, um, in your guitar case? Yeah, I've been, I've been twice and I think we made about 30, 40 pounds each, which that's is great. really good for a few hours. I mean, that's like nine pounds an hour, which is crazy great. That's brilliant. Um, yeah, it was really fun. And, but I think the, the, the best part for me was just, honestly, and it sounds probably quite corny, but the best part for me was just playing in front of people. Yeah. Because, like, uh, like, the vibe you get from, like, just playing two people and then, see, like, smiling, you see them, like, walking past and singing along. And, yeah, I just, it's just really, really fun. Yeah. Which leads us nicely, actually, to, um, to do a little plug, really, I guess, because... Mm. Starting with TikTok and putting yourself out there on social media means that you have the fan base, you've got this foundation, but not necessarily the gig experience. Yeah. So busking gives you that opportunity to Definitely. perform to the public. So you're, you're a local boy here. Where would you love to see yourself performing locally? Yeah, so, um, well, a big like, goal would probably be to play in like the Phoenix or the Cavern or something like that. But I honestly am so happy to sort of get any gig anywhere. Um, just to get some experience and play to people and then start networking and like make my way and just you know i want to be playing to people yeah. like in front of me and interact with the crowd because it's kind of hard to do that when busking when people are just sort of like walking past the yeah. next shop but I, yeah i think that would be really really fun well fingers crossed the right person fingers is watching crossed. this today yeah. uh, so jacob um where can we find you online yeah so um i'm on i'm on tiktok i'm on instagram i'm on youtube and i'm on facebook uh, message me on any of them, I will probably reply. Or you can send an email to my, my music account, which is jacobdursleymusic at gmail.com. Thank you for joining us today, Jacob. Thank you very we'll much. See you again. See you. Hi, we are Harbour Ollen Jonas Trio, and this track is called The Beacon. <laughs> Our in 
eternal man points in one direction where will the tracks lead our thoughts when will our hearts be together as one what do we bring to our beacon Harbottle and Jonas Trio, thank you for joining us today on MIDI TV. We're going to jump straight in to talk about your new album, The Beacon, which I believe um, went to number 24 in the official folk album charts, which is just amazing. Sandwiched between the greats like Fairport Convention and Devon's own Seth Lakeman. So tell us a bit about that. Yeah, um, yeah, we were over the moon to have, um, to have gone in at number 24. Um, and yeah, the album is an album that we're really proud of. Um, it feels very uh, kind of personal, I guess, because a lot of the songs were born out of lockdown, which, um, yeah, was, was a weird time for everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, for something kind of positive to have come out of it is, yeah, is wonderful. So, yeah, we're very proud that it, that it got in at 24 in the official folk charts. Which, yeah, that is so exciting, though, yeah. just to see your name there. And you've got yeah. that forever, haven't yeah. you? Whatever comes next. Oh, yes. So talking about lockdown as well, you guys have another project um, on the side, Saving the Good Stuff, where you've yeah. been working with lots of other artists like Phil Beer, for example. Yeah. Um, I know that one of my favourite um, covers that you did was Joy Division's yeah, Love yeah. Will Tear Us Apart. Um, tell us a little bit about that project because it's been so popular. Yeah, it's um, people have really taken to it. So we started, um, gosh, I think it's been going about a year and a half. Um, we had this idea to, to put out a cover every Sunday morning at 10 o'clock on our social media platforms. And um, we invited people to kind of request covers that they might like to hear us singing or playing. And yeah, people have just, yeah, really taken to it. And um, it's over lockdown, it gave us the opportunity to reach out to people like yeah. Phil Beer and, um, and Reg Muras, who I mentioned, um, just collaborating with those people that we, we would never have done that before. And so it's, yeah, lovely to, to play with them and um, kind of be introduced to different songs as well, I guess. So yeah, um, yeah we, we take all kinds of requests and try and make them our own. Um, like, yeah, Joy Division and 
yeah, it's, it's just been really good fun. And I think, like you said, lockdown has presented us with lots of different challenges, but it's also mm. brought about lots of good things, such as the collaboration. So you're doing a folk festival this year. Um, mm. Tell us where we can see you next and where, where you're going to be performing. Yeah, so we've got... Um, so we're going to be at Gate to Southall this year and we'll be performing as Harbottle and Jonas and then also with Reg Muros, um, who we collaborated with over lockdown. And we're now going to kind of actually play those songs together in real life. <laughs> Meet each other, a real <laughs> yeah. person. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which will be surreal, but, um, but wonderful. Um, so yeah, so we have got bookings in for the summer. Um, so fingers crossed that everything goes to plan with the roadmap out of lockdown <laughs> and that can all happen. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. So yeah, our website is, is the best place to keep checking back to see what, what's going ahead. And what is your website? It's harbottleandjonas.com. Perfect. Um, one thing I wanted to touch on as well is that you're both teachers. Yeah. Um, and I'm imagining that with um, lockdown lifting, are you guys going to be going back to doing a bit of teaching? Yeah, absolutely. So we're both, um, Dave and I are both in school at the minute. Um, we just do part time. So we've, we've still got time to keep uh, doing music work as well and um, it, it's worked out as a really nice balance and it's um, yeah it's lovely being back in school and and yeah. back with the children it's yeah it's good oh, fun <laughs> and you're doing a workshop this summer as well yep so can people sign up to that if we want to come and work with Harbottle and Jonas? Is it the trio as well? Uh, it's not the trio. It will be myself and Dave um, and then Katie Whitehouse, who is our friend and manager. Um, she, she's going to come and help out. She does a lot of choir work. So, um, yeah, so she'll be lending us her skills for kind of choral singing. And is that on your website too? Can we find information if we want to sign up? Yeah, absolutely. So it's at, um, it's at the Dartington Hall Trust um, at the end of September. And uh, yeah, for, for a weekend. So two days of songwriting and song learning and Perfect. singing. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining us today on it's Mini TV. Remember to check these guys out on their social media pages and to have a listen to that new album, The Beacon. <laughs> So let's see how our three acts get on with the Pac-Man challenge. We've got Alex from Patent Pusher, who has already told us that he has some experience of playing when he was younger. Jacob has been bragging, really, about working on the app this week. And then we have Annie from Harbottle and Jonas, who's been very breezy and carefree about the whole thing. So let's see how they get on. You look a little bit nervous, I'm Jacob. not nervous. Are you sure? You're nervous. Whoa. All right, come on, Pac-Man, you beauty. Yeah. Let's do this. We should add that Alex from Pat and Pusher has uh, stayed behind back there just to sort of be a threatening, looming ah. presence. So we've witnessed Annie practicing this today. And there was some foul language involved. <laughs> you're already in keyboard stance Those as well, you're ready. You're at a festival here. But there's far more at stake. Uh, way more at stake today. This is the biggest, biggest gig of your life. Come here. Oh no! Still going though, still going. Oh, oh no, they've got me. Oh, oh. I'm shaking. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this so tense? Oh, I'm never stuck in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and there it is. Okay, that's uh, number one there. Very, very focused. Oh. Oh no, they caught me. Ah. See, there was a lot of there was a lot of chat between you and Jake outside, <laughs> but come on, Alex. Oh, I've got to finish this off. Come Fight. On. Yeah. Or threatening. Angry. Rawr. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what do the no. cherries mean? Are the cherries good or bad? Are you allowed to tell me that? No. I'm assuming fruit, all fruit is good. Okay. Oh no, I've got stuck in the corner. Day what the day in the Oh no, guys. This is tragic. They've gone blue, they've gone blue. This is good, this is good. This is your opportunity. It's looking good, it's looking good. Oh no, they're all turned back now. Have you got a lot of Pac-Man experience? Oh, he's one blob away. One blob. <laughs> one blob. I haven't, no one calls them blobs. I don't know what they call them. Though. I don't know. Yeah. Right, I've done one level. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we just need to do an audio take of the sound effects for this one, I think. Yay! 
<laughs> what did you get? A full free five No! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys. I suck. No. Do I not? Oh. I think it's just an adrenaline rush. Yeah. Oh. Everything's going fast. Let me out. I think that's it. That's it. Game over. It was good energy Four though. Four three oh. <laughs> well done. <laughs> My heart. <laughs> well, 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 that was very eventful. Uh, Alex decided to stick around after his um, Pac-Man challenge just to see what the competition would bring. Jacob was very animated and Annie just released her inner potty mouth all over the Pac-Man screen. You'll see how they got on at the end of the show. What a brilliant show that was. So today we had Pat and Pusher, we had the Harbottle and Jonas Trio, and we had the incredible Jacob Dursley. Now, all three of those acts, as you saw, went on to play the Pac-Man Challenge, and there was a lot of competition in the room. As you know, Alex from Pat and Pusher stuck around just to make sure that no one got in and beat his highest score. Well, that was his intention. So I can announce to you now that the winner of the MIDI TV Pac-Man Challenge is... Alex from Pat and Pusher. You got your way. Pat and Pusher are gonna be ending the show for us today. Now, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, to go onto social media, give us a follow, give us a like, and find us on our new TikTok channel as well. And we will see you next time. Hey, we are Pat and Pusher, and this song is called Come Along. Gonna make you smile when you're feeling blue Don't walk on by if you know you should Give it a try cause it'll do you good Take my hand, are you feeling good? Yeah, we're feeling good Are you feeling good? Yeah, we're feeling good Ah, oh, yeah, we're feeling good And you don't have to lie awake at night Feels like someone is holding you tight Silk sheets will keep you warm You know